All right, everybody, thanks for joining me for this uh, tour. I'm going to pick up some food at uh, Whole Foods. I'm doing a voiceover because I didn't attach my microphone. I didn't feel like making a, 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 a... I didn't feel like attaching the microphone to the camera, blah, blah, blah. It was just a spontaneous filming action. I'm going to Whole Foods in Yorkville, Toronto, which is a kind of an upscale area of the city. Yeah, Whole Foods, uh, I just want to go there and pick up some pork bellies pretend it's bacon so it's not uh, you know it doesn't have the sugar and the nitrites and all that stuff it's just got the pure pork belly got some music playing in the background this whole foot is actually pretty quiet compared to the American ones this is the only hoarded foods in Canada that I've ever been to and it looks pretty empty the ones in uh, New York City the one at Union Square was a mess. There was lineups everywhere to get in and pay, and it was kind of dirty. And um, this one is really empty. Nobody's here. So it's unbelievable. So the meat counter is pretty good. I've never actually had any meat here at this particular store, but I bought this here, right here, um, the pork belly. They are uh, basically bacon without the processing. The second one from the left. He wants the second one from the left. What a picky guy, Phil Mission. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Oh, I love this. I love this channel, everybody. By the way, thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, you know, likes and comments. We're having all fun together. Anyway, so this piece of meat is not that expensive, around seven something dollars Canadian, probably five dollars US. And what I do with it is I chop into kind of one inch squares, and I just fry it and. Uh, let me stick in the oven and chop it even more in a frying pan. I'm gonna make a video about it and it's pretty nice. You get your bacon without the nitrites. I made this music on uh, GarageBand and I dropped some random beats and I played guitar on it random guitar just went straight one time without trying to fix it or anything just like a quick background music six dollars and twenty cents film mission says in video without a mic <laughs> yeah look at this empty completely you know this whole store is empty they have a, a food section in the back where you can go and pick up some already made food but you know Wow, that was a fast uh, time lapse. Yeah, with a store this quiet, I don't know if I want to trust their um, takeout counter, you know? What do they do? Get rid of all the extra food every day? I don't know. Probably they do. Probably they do. A little bit of paper noise. So this is in Yorkville, Toronto, Canada. Yeah, we did make a video of this. Ooh, yeah, I did a fast time lapse when I put the bacon back into my backpack. This camera that I use, it's a great camera. I really enjoy using it. It's amazing. DJI Action, Osmo, whatever, old edition. But it really does need, when you put it on yourself, walk around the stores, you do need a microphone attached to it, like a lapel mic. Otherwise, the sound is not that great unless you're screaming into the camera. This mall is, uh, looks pretty fancy. There's a... There's a coffee shop to my left that's it's been abandoned and a lot of the shops are seems a little bit fancier shops but they're all mostly kind of abandoned you know you can tell it was a really upscale cool mall um, I was told at some point in the 80s they had a skating rink in here I don't think I ever been here in the 80s but yeah it's kind of looks very quiet mall. this art stores I don't know if anybody actually buys any any art here or just they just use it so that the mouth doesn't look all empty most of the stores on this floor are closed you know big prints and stuff music's finished uh, maybe I'll drop some more tunes on there I don't know we'll see fancy part of town oh they're playing their music and there's a coffee shop down there too that's kind of half empty yeah all of these stores 
in a fancy mall, they just make them look like they are not empty, but you know. There's an exit here. We entered from the avenue at exit, which is kind of would be behind us as we're walking towards this exit to the back streets of Yorkville. All the clothes here are super fancy. I'm assuming. I didn't check the prices, but I would say that a bit on the high end side of the scale of the payment system. Yeah. Beautiful light here through those windows. Exit left. That's yeah, pretty nice there. It looks like a looks like you're on vacation in some Caribbean country with all these white buildings. Not this side though. Yeah, it's like what is it called? Yorkville Village. Okay. Everything's a village. So this will entering in the like north side of the Yorkville. Look at this beautiful, the blue sky against this white buildings, the lighting is fantastic. I bet you could do some good portrait lighting here. I'll make a film maybe cooking the pork bellies if I get a chance. Alright, so we're heading south now towards uh, Cumberland Street and Yorkville Avenue. Got a fancy art here. This area is one of the nicest areas of Toronto in the summer. It's cleaner. I would say the houses are kind of authentic looking, small, still kind of has a Toronto, Toronto feel to it and a lot cleaner than uh, downtown streets. We are, um, if you're not from Toronto, this is very close to downtown. They're gonna build a massive condo back in that alleyway. Yeah, we're downtown Toronto. We're very, we're walking distance, uh, like probably a 10 minute walk to Young and Bloor, which is like the center of, you know, big intersection in Toronto. So we're pretty much downtown. Well, this area used to be a big hippie area in the 70s. And then in the 80s, it turned into a more of an upscale area and continued growing. And uh, that was a, photographer girl walking by with her camera hanging street photographer yeah. I think this area is gonna be changing soon they're gonna be lots more condos going up here which I think it's yeah. I'm talking about using a zoom lens for street photography it's like I prefer not to use long lens telephoto powerful lenses for street photography I much rather use like a 50 or a 35 millimeter more like a natural so you have to be close to your subject I think street photography is all about communicating with your subject and your models and it's not about standing way in the back and taking pictures from a distance you want to be you want to get to know people close up and it's kind of more energetic and it's got more life when you're close to people rather than uh, taking pictures across the street. This alleyway is interesting too. It goes right behind us, uh, both buildings on both sides, uh, you know, shops and restaurants. And that's my headphone wire, it keeps falling down. I got to be using headphones. Um, yeah, shops and restaurants on both sides, and no bicycling or a car driving through this lane, which is uh, probably they built this in like early 60s and they thought about having it a walkway which probably would have been a very avant-garde idea back in the 60s to have a pathway without a without you being able to drive a car or maybe they used to drive a smaller cars back there I don't know but it kind of seems very interesting that they would design a, a road across you know basically joining road uh, without uh, car access and here we're approaching this Toronto's big granite rock in the middle of the city which is one of my favorite stuff it's nice you always can hang out on it it's a bit high and it brings a bit of a northern Ontario Muskoka feel to the city I really like it I know some people complain saying it's a waste of time but what I find interesting is all that weight there's a subway tunnel right underneath it so there's a subway uh, are one of the only two lines we have in the city line two goes right underneath that and you got all this weight on it uh, makes me think maybe it's just a fake rock and it's not that heavy because you know if it was that heavy and you had tunnels underneath it the tunnel had to be really you know strengthened we got here a Starbucks with major construction going on here 
just checking it to see if yeah yeah starbucks open uh, sometimes i get a coffee from these guys after the toronto freedom rally why not anyway thanks for watching this one i uh, appreciate it hopefully this voiceover casual voiceover works out and i'll catch you guys in the see i'm climbing this thing i'll catch you guys in the next film appreciate all the likes and comments and i uh, will see you next time